In this equation, we have K plus I2 yields KI. It's potassium plus iodine gas that gives us potassium iodide. So to balance the equation, let's count the atoms up on each side and then balance it. For potassium, it's not written, but there's considered to be a one right here. So we have one potassium atom, two of the iodines, and then one potassium here and one iodine there. So we've counted everything up. Now we can balance the equation. It looks like we have two iodines here and only one here. So we can change the numbers in front of these compounds and elements here, but we can't change the small numbers, the subscripts. So we're going to change the coefficient here in front of Ki. We're going to put a two because this two, it applies to the K and it applies to the iodine. So we have the one iodine times two, and that gives us two iodines. So these are balanced, but remember this two, it applies to everything. So we have the one K, times the two, and that'll give us the two potassium atoms. That's pretty easy to fix though, because we have a one here, we could put our coefficient of two in front of the K, one times two, that'll give us two, and this equation is balanced. Remember, you can change the numbers in front, the coefficients when you're balancing equations, but you can't change these small numbers, the subscripts. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.